In this video, I'm going to explore the question of paid courses versus free tutorials. Depending on what your goals are, one might be better than the other, or both can provide you with tons of educational value. Let's begin! This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on just about any topic. Explore new skills and improve your current ones at your own pace with unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes for every skill level. Learn skills related to game development, like the basics of computer science, then learn modeling in Blender by making your very first 3D character, and then learn the basics of animation with all the important principles of squash and stretch, timing, and so on. Being a subscription means you don't have to buy each class individually, so for less than $10 a month with the annual subscription, you have full access to all the classes you could possibly want. With so many classes available, you can learn skills related to game development, but also improve on any hobbies you have. For example, learn how to play the guitar, learn electronics with a Arduino and a Raspberry Pi, or learn how to be more productive in life. Join now with the link in the description, and for a limited time, the first 1000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thanks to Skillshare for supporting the video and supporting the channel. Alright, so as you may know, I very recently launched my very first course. Over the past two years, I've made over 300 free video tutorials on this channel, and now I have one paid course. So with that, one interesting question comes to mind. Which is better for learning, courses or tutorials? So let's first define the terms as I'm using them. So a course is a several hours long guided journey on making a very specific thing, for example a complete game completely from start to finish covering in detail every step of the process. And a tutorial is a short video covering a single system or element, for example making a tooltip or a health system. The way I see it they both provide great value but it depends on what you're trying to do. The main benefit of a course is it provides you with a guided path. So you start from the first lecture, then build upon it on the second lecture, and so on. The main thing that the course sells is really convenience. Instead of thinking of all the elements you need to make a game, and then looking for all the separate tutorials on each of those specific topics, you just get a course and follow it from start to finish. Doing that can be much much easier, especially if you're a beginner and don't even know what questions to ask or what elements your game needs. A good course will have all of the content planned out, where one lecture leads into the next one and covers all the systems required to reach the final goal. Whereas with tutorials, you need to first find all the tutorials for all the elements you need to make up your game, and then another important thing is you need to think about how to connect the various systems and elements together. I see a lot of comments in my videos of people having this exact same problem. They see one of my videos, for example on a system like Pathfinding, but then they don't know exactly how to apply that on top of another system like for example the enemy AI. Handling that connection is very specific to whatever systems you're trying to connect, so it's not something that can be covered in a general tutorial, but a good course will handle it in a good way. For example, in my Builder Defender game course, I go through the creation of the resource manager, which handles all the resources that the player has. Then I also go through the creation of the building manager that handles how the buildings are constructed, and then I go through the connection of those two systems in order to make the buildings cost some resources before they can be constructed. If I were to make a tutorial on the resource manager and another one on the building manager, you would need to watch both of those and then figure out for yourself how to connect them together. So a complete course really helps you learn how all the systems come together in order to make a complete final game. Another benefit of going through a complete course is there are lots of tiny things that are too small to be mentioned in an individual video. However, I can mention them as I come across those various issues during the course. For example, it is a good practice to keep your data grouped inside a proper class if all that data represents just one concept. So in the Builder Defender game, I made a class to hold the generated data that defines how fast each object generates and what type of resource it generates. And in doing so, I came across the issue where if you make a custom class, it will not show up on the editor by default. Now the fix to this is really simple, you just need to add the attribute system.serializable. If you do, then you can see your custom classes in the editor. So that's an example of a tiny thing that I couldn't really make into a separate video since it's so small, but still it's very important and very valuable knowledge to have. Another example is how when I need to drag a bunch of game object references onto a list, in there I talk about how you can lock the inspector and just drag them all directly instead of one by one. And yet another example is when I talk about using private serialized fields instead of making everything public, and I talk about why you should do it like that. So in a course I can talk about all of those tiny things as they come up. Another benefit of the course is they are simply more compact when you take the whole thing into account. When making a tutorial, every single video is individual. 
meaning that every single video has an intro, outro, mention of the Patreon, my games, and so on. Whereas in the course, I only introduce myself in the course right in the beginning, and then it's non-stop going from topic to topic. That makes it easier to follow the flow rather than constantly having to stop, look for the next video, watch the intro again, and so on. And naturally, since the videos are free, they are ad supported, so you need to sit through a 5 second ad, whereas in a paid course, you just pay once and that's it, there are no more interruptions. So I've been talking a lot about the benefits of courses, but like I said, tutorials also have a ton of benefits. The main one being that they answer a single, very specific question. For example, I covered a tooltip in a video, and I also make it in the course. If all you wanted was to learn how to make a tooltip, it would make no sense to go through a 10 hour course to learn just that. Instead, you would just watch the separate tooltip tutorial and learn from there. So tutorials are excellent when you know exactly what you're looking for and you're just trying to learn one very specific thing. Another benefit of tutorials is also the simple fact that there are just more tutorials than there are courses. You can find thousands of tutorials covering every single topic imaginable, however there are comparatively fewer courses covering distinct genres. So for me, as someone who makes both tutorials and courses, it takes me hundreds of hours to make a single course, and in that time I can instead make something like 20 tutorials covering 20 different topics. So the total amount of topics that are covered in separate tutorials is much more than the total number of courses. And naturally, one of the big benefits of tutorials is simply that they are free. You just need to sit through a 5 second ad every once in a while, and you can get all the knowledge in the world without spending one cent. Like I said, courses are more convenient, but if you're willing to put in the work, you can get just as much knowledge from searching for tutorials. It's a simple exchange of time versus money and how much of each do you value. Now if you've never done a course before, then I would definitely encourage you to do one. Naturally, I recommend my own course since I think it's really good, but feel free to do any other. There are plenty of high quality courses out there. A complete course will teach you how to go from absolutely nothing from complete start to finish. One of the hardest things in game development, especially for beginners, is simply finishing a game. Everyone can make quick prototypes, but creating a complete playable final product is much more difficult, so that's how beginners usually end up with dozens of unfinished games sitting on their hard drive. However, the good news is that once you do finish a game, it will be that much easier to finish the next one. After you go through the process once, you'll gain the confidence that will help you in the next one. So that's why I encourage you to follow at least one complete game course. As long as you put in the work, you will have a complete game by the end, which will then help you in finishing your own original games. And also regarding the question of paid courses versus free tutorials, they're just basic human psychology. Pretty much no one likes to feel like they've made a bad decision and wasted money. So that means that you are much more likely to actually follow through a course you've paid for rather than through a free tutorial. So especially if you have some issues with self-discipline, then that psychological effect alone can be a huge help in getting you to actually follow through and learn. Knowing you have already invested some time and money will definitely help you keep moving forward. So at the end, the way I really see this question about which one is better between courses versus tutorials, my answer is really both. Your goal should be to learn and so you should take advantage of every tool at your disposal. You should use courses to follow a guided path and learn how a complete game is structured with all of its interconnected systems. And you should use tutorials for learning individual things that you require in order to make your game a reality. For me, as someone who makes courses and tutorials, I intend to continue doing both. Tutorials allow me to cover individual elements and systems in separate videos. And courses allow me to do more complete projects covering all aspects of game creation in a single guided path. So if you want to learn how to make a complete game from start to finish, then go grab my Builder Defender course. And then make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon here on YouTube in order to watch the various tutorials on tons of different topics coming out every week. With that, you have the best of both worlds. You make a complete game and learn about the individual systems and elements to make your own original games. So those are my thoughts on the question of courses versus tutorials. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this question. Have you ever followed a complete course? Have you ever had trouble connecting two separate tutorials? And how do you personally view this question? Do you value one more than the other or do you use everything at your disposal in order to learn? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget, for a limited time, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Alright, so that's it. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.